What's going on everyone, it's Rifle here and thanks for checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one I'm excited to share with you all how you can tame animals in the wasteland. And you can have these as like your pets at your base. So let's just go ahead and jump into this already. If you find this enjoyable, consider leaving a like, that's always greatly appreciated. But like I mentioned before, it will be able to be a pet pretty much at your base. So speaking of it being at your base, that means it's going to have a budget to it. This is going to take up a bit of your base budget. Not just a bit actually, quite a bit, I take that back. I know a death claw and a mega sloth definitely do. But you can have more than one tamed pet here. And as far as the max, I'm not exactly sure at the moment. I just know you will need to have budget to be able to place these tamed animals at your base. As you can see here, I have two tamed animals here. I have a rad toad and a mega sloth. I have to say, I love this big cuddly beast. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. First off, you're going to have to find a random enemy spawn location. This will not work for a set enemy spawn location. For instance, this right here, a fisher site. You're not going to be able to tame a scorch beast because this is a set spawn location. Or, for instance, if you head over here to Deathclaw Island, uh, as you can see right over here, there is a Deathclaw that could spawn here, but you won't be able to tame that because this is a set spawn location. I hope that makes sense because this is something that kind of confused me at first so I'm just trying to make it clear which by the way this information that I'm providing to you was provided to me by a specific reddit post which I'll leave that down below in the description I'm just giving you a step-by-step -step guide so more of the community actually knows about this in Fossil 76 because this is an amazing feature that can actually be done and a lot of people are slipping on it but yeah as you can see over here I have a custom destination. This is one area that a random enemy can spawn such as a Mega Sloth, Death Claw, Yagwai, and a Ratto. That's all that I have actually encountered over here, but I'm sure there may be some others that you could also be able to tame over here. But if you don't get the specific thing that you are trying to tame over in this general area, you just want to hop servers. I'm just going to go ahead and show you that here in a second, but yeah. Also, my buddy said he found a death claw over here that he could tame, like a little south from Abby's bunker. So, uh, just if you want, you can also check down in that general area too. He managed to get a death claw over to his base. He found a tameable death claw over there. Once again, there could be something different that could spawn over there that you could tame too, because you can only do this from random things. And also, keep in mind, random events can spawn on roads too on paths, so if you're having trouble finding something that you could tame up in this area, which you really shouldn't, this is a pretty straightforward area, but yeah, at the moment I'm up in my base, I'm going to be showing you a little preview of this place in a future video, this is just kind of like a sneak peek of it, but um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you my sloth, and then I'm going to show you where you can go to find a tameable beast, as you can see here is my mega sloth. Yeah, his name is Banjo. Say hello, Banjo. Too bad you can't actually name the monsters that you do tame. I have to say that would be really cool if Bethesda could add that in. It helped them feel even more personalized to us. I don't know. I mean, after all, they are at our base. So I don't really know how hard it'd be to just add in a function where we could select them and just edit their name while we're in the building function. So before I head out to this location to find this random animal that you can tame, such as a sloth, deathclaw, etc. First and foremost though, before actually heading out there, you're gonna have to have at least five to six charisma. And you're gonna have to have Animal Friend and Wasteland Whisperer perk cards on. You don't have to technically max them both. Like I said, you could have like five charisma and still do this, but you're definitely gonna have to have them both on to be able to have the option to tame a beast of some sort. So yeah, keep that in mind. I kind of overdid my charisma majorly because I was a little confused on how this worked, but after a while I started to get the hang of it and now I'm sharing this information with you all. All right, so I literally set up camp right by where I have to go. It's right over here at this crashed Bird, as you can see, it's a pretty distinct location, it stands out, and it's also a little water hole here too, see, nothing too major, but it definitely stands out, but anyways, the tamed animal will have a chance of spawning over here, as you can see, I didn't get it, unfortunately, this time, 
However, you know, since I failed this time, all I have to do is just hop servers and hope for the best the next time. Eventually, you will find some beasts that you are able to tame. And keep in mind, I know what some of you may be thinking, wow, they are really low level here. They aren't always in the 20s, I will mention. Sometimes they can be higher levels. However, I will say you cannot tame those higher levels unless you are double their level. So for instance, if you see like a level 60 something death claw, you're not going to be able to tame that unless you're like 120 something. So yeah, keep that in mind. After all, the higher level they are, the more stronger they're going to be. If you have any other locations that you can find random monsters at, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I'm sure the community would love that. The more locations, the better, because after all, once you tame these beasts, they'll have to run back to your base. But how you can tell it's still on its way is if your budget is still used by it. If you still had the same budget, the tamed animal might have got killed on the way to your base. That can't happen. But my base was really close to here. I will say though, my buddy set up his base pretty far from where you're able to tame these beasts at, and it took the animal quite a bit of time to get to his base. He even tried hopping servers to see if it would just immediately teleport there, and it didn't. Once he joined into the new server, it wasn't there. He waited for about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. I don't remember the exact time. But long story short, it ended up getting to his base. Which reminds me, yes, of course, in case you are wondering, these tamed beasts will be able to attack other players. And they will attack you too, I will mention, and also sometimes your teammates, but they won't do any damage to you whatsoever. I believe this is just a little bug at the moment that's happening with this feature. Either way, it works out. It's not hurting you whatsoever. Also keep in mind, if you don't want them to hurt other players, just simply turn on the pacifist game mode if you just can't ally with another player that may be in your server, which you can find that in the settings. Then you go to game, and then as you can see here, you can toggle pacifist mode on or off. And keep in mind, with pacifist mode on, other players won't be able to actually take out the animal that you have tamed. So it's a win-win if you're really just wanting to chill out and not having it attack other things and having it be killed by other things. Don't get me wrong, it may still attack something, but it's not going to be able to do any damage. And neither will other enemies to it. Of course, the lower levels aren't going to be doing as much damage, but they still can do some pretty decent damage, and also they are a great distraction. And keep in mind, if your animal does die, there is also another bug that is going on at the moment with this feature, and it's a pretty useful one, I will say. I saved this to speak about last in the video. I was debating on whether or not to even add it in this, to be completely honest. I don't know exactly when Bethesda will end up patching this, but if your tamed beast does die, you can just simply back out of the server a little after it dies. I'm sure you can't do this like two hours after it dies or something, or like an hour or 30 minutes even. It's going to have to be relatively close, I believe, of its death. But either way, once you end up hopping servers, you will notice that it will be back in your base. And I have to say, this is a pretty useful glitch to do. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully this helps you all out on taming animals in the wasteland. I have to say it is a really awesome feature that a lot of players don't even know about or are just a little confused on how to exactly do it. So it's definitely good to get this passed around the community some more. So with that in mind, if you could take a little bit of your time and leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. It helps the video out a lot. And also, hey, maybe if you want, if you are new around here, simply give me a chance by subscribing. And if you don't like what you see in the future, you know, just simply unsubscribe. I'm going to be covering a lot of Fallout 76 content, so if you are into that kind of stuff, you know, feel free sticking around. Hopefully you end up liking the content that I produce. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Until next time, peace.